Well, good afternoon. Well, I guess it's good evening now, but uh, I'm going to talk to y'all about Chainlink now, okay? Now, I've mentioned this story before on my YouTube channel last year, but I guess I didn't really highlight it. Anyway, folks, I once owned 5,000 Chainlink, okay? Let me back up a little bit, though. I had a guy, I was at work one day, minding my own business. I had a co-worker come to me and say, hey, I want to talk to you about something. Do you know much about Bitcoin? I said, well, I've heard of Bitcoin. I had someone try to get me invested in Bitcoin back when it was 100 bucks. What is it now? And he's like, oh, well, it's, I think at the time, this is back in 2018 during the crash, I think he says like around six grand. I was like, you got to be effing kidding me. So then he started talking to me about XRP and he said, listen, banks want to be able to do we want to get rid of this old antiquated system. We want financial institutions to be able to transfer money instantaneously like email. We want it to be at low cost. These banks will want to pick up on this technology because they can save some money. A light bulb went off in my head and I became infatuated with it. I immediately took my money out of the stock market and put it into XRP. I bought quite a bit, but at the same time, I kind of missed the 30 cent range and ended up buying in around, I think it was like the first initial time I got into XRP, I believe it was 54 cents. Um, it's obviously collapsed well below that since then, but I kind of, I FOMO'd in and you know, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, so later on I realized, oh, there are other assets within this field, so let me look into them. And then I was on YouTube and I came across Chico Crypto. <clears throat> And there are a lot of people in the XRP community that don't like this guy because they say he's anti-XRP. Well, who the hell gives a rat's ass? I'm sure there are a lot of people that are anti-XRP. I still believe in XRP. I still believe it's going to succeed. I do. So, but I kept listening to him. He came, he started mentioning Chainlink. And now Chainlink, there is massive utility behind Chainlink. So once I heard Chico Crypto talk about Chainlink, I pulled up the website. I started looking at some other doing some other research, I realized they were partnering with Swift. I was like, oh shit, this is Swift. This is the company that XRP is supposedly going to be going to replace. So I was like, well, I'd like some opposition to this because if Swift starts using Chainlink and they can make their institution a little bit more sound, perhaps XRP may not succeed at all. Well, I can have a backup plan. So if XRP doesn't succeed, I got Chainlink. So I had Chainlink at 5,000 tokens. I first got into Chainlink, I believe it was around 45 cents, maybe 50 cents. I had 5,000 of them. That's a good hefty penny back in that day because, what is that? I mean, do the math on that. That's a few grand I put in to get 5,000 of them. Anyway, so I, uh, I was holding on to it, but then you know it went up a little bit. It was back in this volatile state where it went up quite a bit to like 58 cents, maybe 60 cents, and then fell back down below 45. And I was like, my God, I was like, why the heck am I doing this? And at the time, there was so much news going on with XRP. It was this, this hot craze, and it still is to this day. But, and so I was like, gosh almighty, I don't want to I don't want to put all this money into XRP, I mean, into Chainlink. I'd rather have it in XRP that I fully believe. So I took 4,000 Chainlink and converted them. Well, I didn't convert them at the time because Coinbase didn't have Chainlink, but I ended up trading it for Ethereum and then trading it back into XRP. Kept 1,000 Chainlink. I was happy with that 1,000 Chainlink. I mean, I was like, well, hell, if it goes up to a few dollars, I have a few grand, right? Held on to that 1,000, and then for the life of me, I don't know what came over me, but I started to hear some opposition to Chainlink and started to get a little concerned. I was like, well, damn. I was like, XRP is so low. I mean, my gosh, I could take that thousand chain link and convert it into XRP and hell, I'd have even more XRP. So I did that. Literally, folks, I'm not kidding you. I'm telling you within days, it could have been one day to two days, but it was within days, chain link skyrocketed above a dollar. I was just, ah, folks, when that happened, I, you know, I just, I couldn't believe it. So it went above a dollar, I think it was like went to 125 and then it fell back to around like 80 cents. But anyway, once it hit a dollar, I coughed up the money and put in a thousand and got uh, 1,000 chain link. I was of course pissed, but at the same time I was excited because after that it continued to rise above four dollars. Th and uh, after that, it stayed around $4 for quite a bit of time. And then, you know, during that whole COVID, you know, thou shall not be named, um, that 
crash the market again to around like, I think Chainlink went down to like 180, 185, and then I put, I got an additional 500 of them. And uh, anyway, I guess I'm giving you, I'm not giving you exact numbers, but anyway, so roughly about 1,500 of those. So now we're sitting where Chainlink is close to $18, and I got roughly around 1,500 of them. That's a lot. That's a lot of Chainlink. But at the same time, gosh almighty, I could have had 5000 at 18 to $20. And you can imagine that is, cha-cha-cha-ching, cha-ching, it is around 100 gray, 100000 So the moral of the story is this, folks. When you do your homework, you do your research, and you believe in the project, hold strong. There are a lot of XRP people out there biting their nails and wondering why that damn price ain't moving. Do not sell. I'm telling you right now, it's not going to fail. There's too much money money behind this utility token. Do not sell it. At some point, it's going to go up and you're going to be so damn pissed you sold. I'm happy I have a little bit of chain link. I do. I have quite a bit. I'm sure there are a lot of people who would like to trade places with me, but I can tell you that I could have had a hell of a lot more. So just do yourself a favor. If you have Chainlink, I would hold it until that thing hits at least $1,000 because I'm telling you, Chainlink could easily flip Bitcoin. Bitcoin, all in all, folks, I hate to say this to you, Bitcoin is a shit coin. I'm sorry. It is a store of value. It was the first one. <coughs> it has no use case to it whatsoever. Chainlink's use case is flawless. People have got to use it. It is going to be a monster. It is a monster. The monster has awoken. Do not sell it. Do not sell it to make a few grand. Do you want to make a few grand or do you want to make a few million? Do not sell it because I'm telling you, Chainlink is going to be as high as a freaking kite one of these days. And guess what's coming up right behind it? And even though it's ahead of it on the market cap, but XRP is going to go crazy soon. It is. Folks, I'm I'm going to make a prediction right here. I believe XRP is going to hit at least $1 by October 1st. That's my prediction. By October 1st, XRP is going to be above a dollar. It might fall back down but it's going to at least touch a dollar. This is my prediction. I'm not telling you to go out and buy a whole bunch of them because guess what? I'm just a good old boy. I ain't no financial advisor. This is not financial advice, but I'm telling you, if you have some XRP, good for you. Hold them. Don't sell. Do not sell. I'm not in this to make a little money here and there. I'm not in this to make a few grand. I want to put a stamp on my family heritage with millions. This is what I want. Chainlink and XRP are that way. They're right there. I have them in my grasp. I ain't letting go of them. I ain't signing into my damn accounts. I ain't leaving my damn laptop open. I ain't leaving my damn self signed into these stupid damn exchanges. I ain't taking any chances. My crypto's stored safely and secure not selling. Anyway, that's my that's my chain link story. I hope you enjoyed this story. I'm going to tell you right now. Do not FOMO into this shit. If you can afford it, hey, you can afford it. If you lose some, you lose some. You're going to lose some anyway. It's the fact of life. I don't have a crystal ball, but I'm telling you, I've been in this space studying this shit for quite some time. It is legit. People still think this is a fraud, even though there's money to be made. Do not sell. And if you can afford some chain link, I would advise you to buy a little bit. If you can afford it. I think 10 to 20 of them are quite modest. But you know what? I think it's a good investment because gosh almighty, would you rather have 10 to 20 chain link or would you have rather have one stupid, uh, what's it called? One stupid Amazon stock at 3000 You know what you got to do to double that money? Amazon has to go to 6,000. How does that make any damn sense? You're going to own one stock at 3,000? <coughs> you know how long it's going to take Amazon to get to six grand? 
if it even reaches six grand. Come on, folks, use your brain. The more you own, the better off you are. If you can get 20 chain link, you can get 20 chain link. And hold on to it. Don't get yourself one damn Amazon stock, for God's sakes. Come on. Use your heads now, okay? All right, well, this is a 10-minute video. I, this is a mighty long video, but this is my chain link story. I'm, I'm marking this down. I think the last time I checked the price of chain link, it was $17.57, $17 I believe. But don't quote me on that. It may have gone up or down since then, but... Chainlink has already, I'm, I'm telling you guys, it, there's money to be made in this, but you got to hold strong and you can't be foolish. Do not put in more than you can chew. Do not bite off more than you can chew, whatever the hell the damn saying is. This is not financial advice, but if you have XRP and Chainlink, hold them. Don't sell you SOBs because you're going to regret it at least a year or two from now, maybe five years from now. Telling you folks, chain link could be above a thousand dollars. I just, it's, it's remarkable. All right, now, y'all have a good, just a good evening. Bye.